Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Western Digital Raptor X 150GB hard drive. What's included with the Raptor X 150GB hard drive is a quick install guide, an installation CD, and a Western Digital Serial ATA cable with Secure Connect. This hard drive comes shipped in the standard anti-static hard drive bag, but it also is packaged in a cloth pouch. This is certainly very different and it's fitting considering this is a very unique product. Before I continue, let me go over what to look for when selecting a hard drive. The first decision is whether to go with a single hard drive or multiple hard drives in a RAID configuration. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks or Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks. A single hard drive is inexpensive, but slower than two hard drives in a RAID 0 configuration. The disadvantage of a RAID 0 setup is if one drive is corrupted, all the data can be lost. A RAID 5 or RAID 10 setup is much more secure but lacks the performance of RAID 0. There are four main features to consider when selecting a hard drive interface, rotation speed, buffer size, and access seek. There are two interface types, IDE and Serial ATA. Select a hard drive with Serial ATA or Serial ATA2 interface since it's the newest technology. The rotation speed should be 7200 RPMs or greater, preferably 10,000 RPMs. The buffer size should be 8 megabytes or greater, preferably 16 megabytes. And the average seek time should be less than 10 milliseconds. This drive's interface is Serial ATA 1.5 gigabits per second, has a formatted capacity of 150 gigabytes, a rotation speed of 10,000 RPMs, a 16 megabyte buffer size, it has a read seek time of 4.6 milliseconds, average write seek time of 5.2 milliseconds, average track to track seek time of 0.4 milliseconds, and an average full stroke seek of 10.2 milliseconds. The Western Digital Raptor brand has been around for some time. In 2003, Western Digital launched the Raptor 36 gigabyte hard drive. The next year, they released the 74 gigabyte hard drive, and in 2006, the 150 gigabyte hard drive was born. There are two versions of the Raptor 150 gigabyte hard drive, one with a window and one without. Designing a hard drive with a window is not as easy as you might think. If this were simple, more companies would have it, but to date, Western Digital is the only company that has a hard drive with a view. The challenges faced to put a window in a hard drive were great and took a team of Western Digital engineers two years to figure out. Tolerances are so tight and materials so technologically advanced inside the drive that even the slightest speck of dust or gaseous contaminants or disruption of the delicate and balanced drive ecosystem destroys the drive, not to mention the data. After much research, Western Digital finally settled on a specific grade of crystalline polycarbonate and shaped the lens in a way that would maximize viewing area, structural rigidity, and aesthetics. In addition, this crystalline polycarbonate lens has an electrostatic discharge dissipative coating, and when used with the conductive frame, it redirects unwanted ESD charge, which protects the read-write heads from potentially damaging zaps of static discharge. The lens is attached to the cover with a foam adhesive chosen for its gas filling and sealing capabilities. Also microscopic carbon nanotubes bond the cover to the frame and ensure conductivity. Inside the hard drive is a lightweight actuator arm and below that is the hard drive platter. Now let's have a look at the hard drive in action. I will turn the computer system on and start a hard drive benchmark program to illustrate how cool it is to see the actuator arm fly across the hard drive platter as it's reading and writing data. 
Keep in mind that the reed right heads at the end of the actuator arm, which flip-flops the polarity of magnetic particles on the disc, literally flies over the 10,000 RPM surface at one two thousandths the width of a human hair. Seeing this really makes one appreciate how amazing it is that data can be accessed with such speed, accuracy, and reliability. So the next time you turn on your computer system, remember how hard the drive is working while you play your favorite games, movies, and music. Another very unique feature is all the fins on the outside perimeter of the hard drive. These fins ensure that the hard drive remains cool by dissipating the heat away from the drive. Please remember to have adequate air circulation inside your case, especially in a hot environment. Here is the serial ATA power cable connection, the serial ATA data cable connection, jumpers, and Molex power connection. On each side and the bottom are screw holes for mounting the hard drive. At the bottom is the model number, serial number, manufacturing date, and more information about the drive. The Western Digital Raptor X 150GB hard drive performs very well in a single drive configuration, but even better in a RAID 0 configuration. And this is really no surprise to me because I've owned the Western Digital Raptor 36GB and the Raptor 74GB hard drives. I've had both of those in a RAID 0 configuration perform very well, very stable. None of these drives have ever failed. It's a perfect drive to have if you're a serious gamer or really anybody who's into some serious computer work like video editing. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video of you. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop to my website at www.3dgameatman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameatman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. A single hard drive is in the in the inexpensive all in the expensive. A 16 megabyte buffer size. A how the 74 gigabyte hard drive. And in 2006, the 500 by 500 better 525. Yeah, don't know what I'm saying. 150 gigabyte. So you can play your favorite games. Watch your beautiful movies and listen to your wonderful music, baby! Yeah! Here's the Serial ATA power connection, Serial ATA data connection. Whether it's in a single configuration or in a RAID 0 configuration or any other configuration, this Hawaii's configuration configurate. The Raptor X drives are fantastic. I've owned the 30 to 36 gigabytes in last and it could be the Raptor standard without the widen with Nazi lab.